Today, we're going to be making a UGC item for a pretty, uh, pretty known trader and fellow YouTuber, Lonnie, or GPR3, I think that was his, like, his trading name. Who knows, man? He wants a teapot hat cracked in half with cracks going down it. So, um, let's see. Let's, let's grab our snip tool and let's make a quick little drawing. So, first things first, we have the, uh, the teapot thing this <laughs> and then at the back there's the handle and then i'm assuming down the middle we'll just kind of do one of these cracks yep and then teapot yep all right let's go ahead get this teapot modeled to start things off we're gonna add a few loop cuts like so we'll just add like this many because why not now i'm gonna grab the middle set of loops have our proportional editing on make sure it affects the whole thing then press s to scale and it's gonna give us this like sort of a teapot-esque look we're gonna scale this back down bring it down to the bottom of the head and we have i mean that's practically the teapot like the look of it anyways now now for the top, it looks like we have sort of a separated lid. We're going to inset this a little bit, drop this down a little, inset it again, bring it up and then scale it in with a bevel. Yeah sure why not scale this down then we just go up extrude scale and we should probably bevel this right here and bevel the top ring as well not too bad now let's go ahead and mark sharp for this edge down here and for these edges now the teapot handle thing might be a little too big so we're gonna actually scale that right now let's do Control plus and now if we do s shift z it'll scale on everything except z there we go and now we're just gonna drag the top down down. I think we can get rid of this set. So we're going to dissolve edges. And now we're just going to grab the top and drag it down. There we go. Now we have a little teapot handle. Now I think we should bring the whole thing up a little bit, something like that. And I'm going to see what happens if I bevel this just a little. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it beveled. We could definitely dissolve this edge as well. And then this one doesn't need to be marked sharp. So we're going to clear sharp. I think that looks pretty okay. Now what we're going to do, uh, let's go into Photoshop and make the texture actually. So for you, UGC items, it has to be a 256 by 256, and that's what canvas size we already have. And I think we're gonna do a black gradient. Let me see, let me use this right here. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go into blending options, gradient overlay, and we are gonna go to probably basics. Now I want the lighter side to be towards the top, which it already is. All right, so I just found this cracked texture. Now to make it so it's not the same exact sort of copy and paste from Google, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it and we can turn it a little bit, something like this. I forgot to duplicate because I pressed the wrong hotkey, but we could do something like this guys which i think will look pretty cool convert those to a smart object and now we can start editing the colors a bit the colors are gonna stay pretty much the same Ooh, or we could go like a gray to really make them pop out so like something like this and then i want to have a very faint outer glow on them that'll be sort of like a, a lighter gray almost a white maybe something like this let's up the size i kind of like this let's move it like this and like this all right guys so back into blender we need to go ahead and make the handle for the teapot which i guess i could do like just grabbing this face here and then like the clicks like this i oh, don't know i didn't really like that one i'm gonna model the little spout and the teapot and then i'll be back all right guys so the base of the teapot is done now what we need to do is just cut it in half and ignore my topology delete faces and uh as you can see we have half of a teapot now i am gonna fix down here because it's a pretty easy fix. Now what I think we're gonna do is make it sort of cracked. So let's go to wireframe vertex and let's just grab all of these and we're gonna hope, oh snap, I still have the, the bottom portion here. Let me go ahead and delete those, delete of vertices, there we go. Now we're gonna grab this outer edge of vertices. I'm gonna go up here to select and checker deselect. Hopefully that worked. It looks like sort of-ish. We're gonna drag those out to give it this cracked look. That's, it's not gonna work like that for us sadly. So we're going to have to do it kind of manually, which isn't the worst. So I guess we'll be back when it's all jagged. All right, guys, we have the teapot all cracked up and now we're going to go ahead and add the texture on it. So let's go ahead and click new image texture. And then we're going to go to the one that we have. We were going to go here, but we just made a texture. So let's bring in the texture we made. And this one's going to be a very, very easy one to texture. Project from view, A, scale, G, something like this. Let's change this as well. And as you can see, we 
we now have a teapot. I do want to do a couple of things here, though. First things first, I want to project from this side. It's going to make it look a lot better, I think. Let's scale it up as well. Scale it down a little bit so it's all on our texture. And then let's scale it on the y-axis just to stretch it and make it have that cool gradient look that we were going for in the first place. Now, as you can see, we have all these cracks on it, which looks pretty dang cool. Up next, I want to go ahead and work on up here. We're going to make this pure black, just as that ring. And then this right here, we're going to scale in so it has no cracks on it and bring it all the way to this lightest gray that we have. And guys, this is the cracked teapot. All right. So the only feedback we got from Lonnie that he once switched is the cracks to be more defined looking. Now, I wonder if that is just because we are in like blender lighting, but it's probably not. So what we're going to do is hop back into Photoshop and we're going to see what we can do with this texture. Think if we add in an inner shadow like this and make the inner shadow black, that helps a lot actually for defining the cracks. And then if we do a drop shadow as well, we could, uh, we could maybe get something going. Let's see. We don't want it to be like far away. Uh, I don't overly like the drop shadow. So I'm going to try just this and see how that looks. Yo, we just slapped the new texture on and it's actually like quite a bit more defined. I like that. Let's see if Lonnie likes it. All right, guys, we just got the final confirmation. Uh, sent up the picture. He said, yeah, that's dope. So that is going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.